in this video which is a continuation we're going to focus on our Gantt chart here in chart JS and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these colors are now being coordinated exactly with our circles here and of course we will do some uh, fine tuning by soft coding certain hard coded values for, such as this one here that was being set in here so let's start to look how to do this so let's continue on and it's time to change the colors here so let's go down here and just do a few things first of all solve the colors so the colors are nicely coordinated with the status that should be number one so we go here into for example the background color and i think the background color has no value it would make more sense to have a solid color here we have the solid orange for example so to do this i will have to move one of these uh, colors array this one here i'm going to move it up to the very top because it makes just sense to have it there so we can apply it everywhere and use that everywhere so i'm going to put it here up so we hoist it to the very top here all right we do this you can see here these items here will not change it still recognizes the array but then what i want to do is this here will eventually be also in here well how are we going to do this well let me show you we have here the background color and then i will say here just ctx so we're going to create a function out of it or a callback functionality and then i'll do a console log and just say ctx here to see what we get if i refresh now you get these solid colors here don't worry about that it's because it doesn't recognize right now the background color but then i will open up the console log let's open one of these objects and you will see here the following in the objects here if we're going to click on the raw you scroll down you can see here the name but you also see here the status number which is number two which is correct because david was here or david is status number two there you are so all this information is being recognized here basically it's just all the data of this individual point that is related to that so what i want to do now is just grab that ctx and just grab the number here status so how do we get there from raw dot status so we say ctx dot raw dot status say refresh all right so now we get all these numbers here it shows it now let's reflect them in here so what i'm going to do is so here we return and what i'm going to return is basically the colors which is our array and then the index number would be this if i save that refresh there we are now we get the colors except for the border color let's fix the border color as well but we can just use them the same logic here we can delete everything else put that in there and i'm going to say this save refresh and now both of them are exactly identical of course you might say we could just remove border skip or border width set on zero or if you remove that we probably don't even have this issue here as you can see so that could be as well you could just remove the border as well if you want to so that's not a problem so we save that and that's just saves us some code all right so now we have this what i want to do was basically put in here at least a column description and in this part as well so let's do that one to do this i will look at this item here that's the status and this is the name so let's put in here names in and that is in the names or the assigned task and how do we do this well it's quite straightforward here we have probably most of this already done we have all of that here and let's put this in here and all i will say here is first of all we have to figure out the position and then we have uh here that we have to put in so this was if i'm not mistaken here 10 pixels all right so i'm going to say here ctx dot fill text and we don't need much information because everything here is probably already used or everything that we have here is probably necessary for us here we might maybe check with the middle if there might be some or sorry with some of these pixels here maybe that we are not pixel perfect but we have to check I have to double check that although i believe we are quite safe on this so what i'm going to say here yes very hard coded names comma and then here the x value and the y value which we could do here x is by default 10 and the y value would be not the index number but we're going to get here the chart area and then the top value plus maybe 10 pixels pushing it a little bit up above that line so if i say here top 
So if I save that refresh, you can see here, maybe a little bit higher would make more sense. Say here, not plus, but minus 10 pixels. Why? Up is zero, down would be the a higher amount, let's say this maybe 700 pixels or something like that. So the higher we go or the lower we go in value to the close to zero, the higher we are. So if we save this, refresh, you can see here we're pushing it up. We could maybe push it up minus 12, something like that. Uh, we could do here 15, I think. So we are slightly matched with that. There we are. So now we have this. What we could do next is putting here the same, but then status. So what I want to do here, we can just copy this and I guess we can just go up to our status uh, object. And in the status object, we have all of this here. This says white. Do we have, let's go like that. All right, you have the fill text white. Maybe we need to have another one with, I guess, the black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that in here. I'm going to copy this because this will be a white font and I want to avoid the white font. And of course, what I need to do here is font awesome. Put that in there as well. And this should be not font awesome, but sans serif, because I need to have now normal text. Bolder 12 pixels. I guess that we say, do I have it here? Bolder 12 pixels sans serif. All right, that's acceptable. This should be black. And then here we say status. Then here, probably we need to have the right plus 50. And what I realized, this is hard code. We should soft code that one. I'm going to soft code it as well. So we're going to save this, refresh. There we are. So now this works quite nicely. All right, interesting. And you can see here uh, something. Ah, all right. So let me explain what's going on here. Because I'm looping through this. That's why the first one works. But then the second one doesn't recognize anymore. Because in the loop, we only... Outside the loop, we have this font awesome, and then after in the loop, we have this sans serif. Of course, it loops through this, and then suddenly recognize, oh, I'm using now a different font family, and that's why we get this error here, or these, these square blocks of unrecognized characters. So what I want to do is I want to cut this out, put it up here, and then semicolon, or let's or put it up, I said, I mean, I meant down, save that, refresh, this works. All right, this works, but what I want to do is this is the final item. Soft code this one because I can imagine maybe you have here 75 or 70 and then suddenly we get this issue here. So we, it must be slightly smarter. So how do we get this padding number? Well, basically we have to look here. We have here the data. We can also get here the, uh, let's see here. This should be the options. Within the options, we have the layout and then we can go here down. So what I'm going to say here, in the status, I'm going to put a comma here and then just say options. And if I grab the options, and then what I want to do here at the bottom, I'll just say a console log so we can quickly see what we get here. Refresh this, open up developer tab, and we get this proxy, and I see this number 70 here. This proxy is the object, so that's fine, but this here, number 70, I want to remove. So on line 70, I just want to remove that so we don't get confused by that. Uh, console log. So the lesser we have there, less is more. So in that case, that is better. There we are. So now we have this, we get this weird information here. However, if you look at it, we do get all the information that we need. And what I need to look for here is the options. And I think here the options, does it show? Maybe the layout, there you are. The layout and we get some information here. All right, don't worry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here in the options, we just say a dot layout, and let's see what we get. All right, we get now the layout, and then what I want to do here is dot padding. See if this will give us a deep dive into it. Uh, the padding, there you are. You do see that the padding is shown here, 100 on the right side. So I just want to grab this. If I say right, say do I get the value 100? All right, so we have this value. What I want to do now is get this value, put it in here, and then divide by 2, of course, because that was the formula here. We have this 50, that's basically 100 divided by 2. So what I can do is here, we can cut out this, and let's say here, uh, let's give it a shorthand. So we're going to make, not here, but let's here, Bob. Let's say here, Bob, say constant, padding right equals this. All right, copy this padding right. 
we're going to say a plus right divided by 2. And there we are. Put that in here as well. Save that. Refresh. And as you can see here, nothing truly happens. But if I change now our value to, let's say 150. Save that. It will still work somehow, but we're still missing something. So let's go up here. Maybe we have another formula that I am not realizing here. Uh, ah, all right. You can see here the arc. That is right plus 50. We should just do this and put it in there. Save. Refresh. All right. Beautiful. Now it is well positioned. So you can see here this works now dynamic based on the reference of the value here. For this one here, of course, it doesn't really matter because here we start at zero by default and then the amount of pixels that we jump to the right, that is 10 pixels. So here there's no need for a formula because this is a starting point by default. So there we are. Now we have everything here, which is very nice. What I want to do, maybe the final one is this, because as we have this red color here, this should not be the same color. This should be maybe a grayish or something color. So let's search for that line. And we're going to look for that line. Where are you? Uh, let's, oh, sorry, that's a status. We need the today line and the today line here. Let's use the RGBA, the official chart here as gray color, which is, um, I'm sorry, that should be like this 100, 102, comma, 102, comma, 102, comma, 1. Save. There we are. We have a nice dark gray color. Beautiful. And that's basically it, how we can play around with this so i guess the next thing what we should do here is um i guess we can just fix the upper part here a bit more make this skill a bit more easier to read so that will be in the next video we're going to fine tune it and remove the redundancy of the october